van lifers. Welcome to our Vans of Dreams build. It's a 2020 Ford Transit high roof extended wheelbase. It's uh, new, it has about 80 miles on it at this point. Uh, so come on inside. So some of the details on this, we have a 62 inch jackknife sofa. So uh, it helps sleep another uh, child. You can have somebody on it that's about five feet or less and they should be able to sleep on it comfortably. If need be, you can go ahead and have your head up here and extend your feet back on the Dometic cooler. This is our Dometic cooler. It's the CFX series. It has both refrigerator and freezer. It's Bluetooth controlled. You can also use it as a bench if you want to put some type of a uh, cushion or whatnot on it. And it's also on the DC circuit, so it does have much less draw than if uh, it was configured for the AC. Um, so again, we have the jackknife sofa here. We have a full swiveling chair for the passenger seat, so it's nice and comfortable. People can hang out here, look out the window, enjoy the sunset or the sunrise. And you have also another person over here, so really you have comfortable seating. In this area right here for about four people three on the couch one over here uh, we also have a custom quartz cook our uh, countertop uh, running water cold and hot this empties into a five gallon gray water tank that's ball valve and enabled so you can push button up here on the five-way switch and you can drain your gray water tank out nice and simple uh, again this is a quartz countertop come on up in here Tums quartz countertop uh, custom done for that you also have the quartz backsplashes here and extra countertops if you want to cook on your induction cooktop you come on down here bring this thing up go ahead and plug it in here so uh, that's how you'll uh, do your cooking for your soups and anything else that you need to have a cooktop for we elected to do something portable like this versus building it into the countertop just so that you have uh, more space when you're not going to be cooking to be able to uh, chop food and, and so forth. So uh, just trying to maximize our space there. Uh, we also have down in here, I don't know if you can get in here all right, Tommy. We have our microwave right here. This is a 700 watt microwave that's Alexa enabled. So you can just tell it just like you would your Alexa uh, enabled device to cook for however long and uh, set timers and so forth. Also have a 2.6 gallon porta potty that's stored down here. If you want to keep this space for more storage besides this, I'd recommend you just put this back in the garage area and you can use this for books or other things that you're going to use more often. Uh, this van is really built around uh, this being kind of for an emergency type of situation, uh, but it is there in a pinch. Also all our cabinets and drawers, they're locking so you can hear that snap. So it should stay from, uh, from sliding out. You have to give it a pretty good tug to get this thing to open. Uh, so all these things are enabled with a latch as well as here. You also have a little bit of extra storage underneath the sink. A lot of times in these type of builds you won't just due to the plumbing, but we tried to maximize um, our area there so that you do have some storage in this area. Again, down here is where I've stored the induction cooktop. That can go wherever you want, of course. Um, up top, we elected to do the soft mule bags. I know a lot of builds, they will have the hard bag, the hard cabinets that are custom designed up there. The problem with those is they generally squeak and make a lot of noise while you're going down the highway. Uh, these things are a lot quieter, um, easy to maneuver around. You can actually also break them down and fold them up and out of the way if you deem to do that. Uh, you basically come up in here unscrew these and it will come back against the wall if for some reason you want to open up some headroom there. But you have magnetic uh, closures up here to hold it in place when you have it open. You also have a lot of little hooks, some storage underneath, storage on the side. Basically you can do a lot of things with these. So we have four of the 46 inch wide ones. So we have 96 inches of storage over here and another 96 inches of storage over here with these meal bags. So plenty of storage to do whatever you might need. Um, another feature that we did, um, this is your air vent for a Webasto heater. So it runs off of the gas tank, burns about one gallon per day. So when you're in a cold climate, just go ahead and run that thing nonstop. Uh, you shouldn't, uh, 
draw out too much gas out of your gas tank and it actually has a safety feature where if it you run it too low and the gas tank gets to a certain level it only has a couple of gallons left it's going to stop running it's going to stop burning that fuel up so you can make sure you can get to the gas station um, but that's what this thing is you can also go ahead and aim it whichever direction you want um, we elected on this build to go ahead and keep the uh, stock flooring in it already has some cushioning to it so it's much more comfortable to walk around. We've done wood floors and so forth, but they tend to squeak, they expand, they have more maintenance. This stuff is durable, it's softer on your feet, it's already insulated, so we elected to just leave the stock flooring in on this one. If you do want to have a this customized, we can go ahead and put wood flooring in still at this point. Uh, we would just remove the couch, remove the cooler, and go ahead and uh, put in whatever kind of flooring you want at that point, but we highly recommend you just leave it with the stock that's uh, just out of doing a few builds uh, what we're finding is the best plus you don't really have that much floor space that you're trying to get more decorative um, so in this case again just recommend the stock flooring we have shiplap ceilings uh, throughout uh, there's a total of eight LED lights that are dimmable for this over here we also have a Fresair S7 uh, air conditioning unit so this thing is very easy to use just turn it on here and uh, the as you can hear it's working great pulling water from the fresh water tank to help the evaporative cycle and uh, blows out nice cool air another thing you can see in here is the full-size bed so this is an actual true full-size bed most vans out there um, if they put in a full-size bed, they have to go lengthwise instead of widthwise. It cuts out a lot of your space up to about this area, so it really shrinks it down. We figured out a way to be able to put this thing in sideways, um, so it, uh, it definitely opens up the van more. Also notice we have the head area is over on this side. I've seen some vans out there where they don't think about this. They cover all this area up with cabinets, put the head on this side, feet on this side. Problem is if you go ahead and you're gonna go do some undercover camping and you're on the side of a road, Road Crown makes it so your head needs to be on this side, on the driver's side. Otherwise, your feet are gonna be above your head. Anybody that camps a lot knows that that's a really good way to get a headache. So uh, that's why we've got the head over here. Uh, full-size bed, full-size uh, bedding, uh, sheets, pillows. This all is included in the bill. All right, so now we're uh, outside of the van. Up on the top of the van, you see we have two solar panels up there. Um, those are 220 watt solar panels, so for a total of 440 watts of clean energy coming into the van. Open up, you see that up here, here's our vent fan. So instead of having it on the roof, we've tried to maximize roof space. If you ever want to put any carriers, luggage racks up there, uh, the only thing up there is your solar panel and the air conditioning. Vent fans on the back. Um, it's actually a wireless vent fan, or you can control it by hand. It also has lights built in, uh, made by Chavo in Salt Lake City. Uh, neat thing about the transits that um, the Mercedes Sprinters do as well, but the Ram vehicles don't. This thing opens all the way up and out of the way. Uh, so a nice feature to just really open the, this thing up from the back. the rear starting with the water side we have a 30 gallon fresh water tank back here again it does have hot water so we have a 2.5 gallon hot water tank up in here we also have fresh water shower that is both cold and hot to use that it's pretty simple you just pull this thing out here pop this thing in Again, like I said, this is hot and cold back here. A lot of vans out there, they're doing only cold water. Um, you know, after a hard day hiking, I would much prefer to have a nice hot, hot shower waiting for me after a hard day out in the mountains. Fresh water connection is here, so this is for filling it up. Just uh, takes a standard hose. Um, that's pretty much up on the uh, water side. Over here on the electric side, this switch is to operate a little LED light just to give you some illumination in our garage area. 
we have a GFCI protected circuit for all the 120 volt outlets. So uh, we've got that. This is our heater, the uh, Wabasco heater that I talked about a little bit earlier. And then coming on in here, lots of power. We have four lithium ion batteries that are 105 amp hours each. So you have a total of 440 amp hours of lithium ion batteries. Um, we have our solar controller. We have a 3000 watt inverter. Um, and then this is our DC to DC so that also all this system can help charge the main battery um, that the truck runs off of um, if it needs it. Um, so here's our electrical system. We also have tried to strategically place some hooks in various areas. So you can hang your shower stuff here. Uh, there are also some hooks when you enter that we didn't talk about, but you probably saw in the video. Um, and that's really it. Go ahead and give us a call if you have any questions. Love to discuss uh, this Vans of Dreams build with you.